We've been cooking with stove cookware ourselves and selling it on our site for a long time now and been hearing from our friends at Stove about the amazing process behind the creation of these pots and how cool the factory is. So we decided it was time to see it for ourselves and go to France. And they really had to twist our arms. The first thing that we were introduced to at the factory were these mountains of scrap metal. And these ended up being the ingredients of the pots. They take scrap metal and pig iron and limestone and essentially melt them all together like chocolate. Then they get poured from the furnace into this giant cauldron that then gets put on a forklift and this guy just drives the forklift around, not a care in the world. <laughs> Whips around, sparks flying. <laughs> That's when they get poured into these really cool, individually made sand molds for each piece of cookware. And the sand is really important because it allows the molds, once the metal has cooled, to be shaken off of the pots. That was my favorite part. This conveyor belt just like literally shakes the sand out of the pots and off of the sides. It's very loud and very hot. I think my favorite part was watching them apply the enamel. It's really like watching a ballet. The pots are spinning like ballerinas, and then this fine mist of color is being applied just incredibly evenly all around the surface. I could have stood there for hours. We got to see something really cool at the end of the day. It was the emptying of the furnace. This guy who, his father did it before him and he takes his giant bathtub basically and puts it at the bottom of the furnace and empties all of the extra molten iron into it and then he takes it outside and dumps it. And he was so pleased that we were filming because he really wanted to finally be able to show his wife what he does. Seeing the amount of work that goes into making these pots I think really changed how we feel about our cookware, and it was really inspiring.